What's our position, Dashie? Just approaching the eastern coast of Australia, Captain. Australia? I've heard a tale or two about the strange beasties that live there, me hearties. Actually, Quaz is right. Many of the creatures in Australia are found nowhere else in the world. Whoa! Hold on, everyone. <laughs> is everyone okay? I'm fine. Oh, okay, Captain. Yes, I think so. Aye, aye, Captain. Just practicing my tumbles. Dashy, what just happened? Well, we were passing this river, Captain. There's been a lot of rain in this area, and all the extra water caused the river to flood. It's gushing out here into the ocean much faster than usual. And it's sweeping the river creatures out with it. <laughs> Looks like they need our help. Quasi, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, the river here has flooded. We've got to head upstream and help any creatures who may be in trouble. Quasi, Peso, Shellington, into the cafe. First, we have to rescue the river creatures that have been swept out to sea. Quasi, activate fish back. Now let's take them back home. Be careful out there, little fishies. This river's flowing fast. Looks like the flooding caused a lot of damage. There must be more creatures out there who need our help. Octonauts, let's do this. Well done, Octonauts. Everything looks back to normal. Let's head home before it gets too dark. I'll be right there, Captain. It looks like part of the riverbank has collapsed. I just want to make sure no creatures were hurt. All right, Shellington. Captain, Quasi's found something. Feast your eyes on this. Mmm, an egg. It was just sitting there, all alone on the riverbed, Captain. We'd better get it back to where it belongs. But where's that? Uh, the shell is hard and thick. This egg was laid on land. We should show it to, um... Ah! Shellington! Shellington, where are you? Over here, Captain! Ow! It stung my leg. What? What stung your leg? One of them. There they are. Don't let them get away. We're under attack. Break! Everyone back to the car. Oh. What happened out there, Shellington? Two creatures came out of nowhere, and one of them stung me in the leg. Oh, what were those things? They had bills and claws and... Hold on, I'll be a sea monkey's uncle. It's a pair of duck-faced river monsters. A pair of duck-faced what? Now, Quasi... It is a strange, slippery beast that's said to lurk in Australian rivers just like this one. It's made up of parts from different creatures. A bill like a duck, fur like a bear, webbed paws like an otter, claws like a cat, a tail like a beaver, and worst of all, a sharp, spiny stinger like a giant bumblebee. This here sting is the work of the duck-faced river monster. Whatever it was that stung you, it looks serious. How are you feeling, Shellington? Uh, not too good, Captain. Don't worry, Shellington. I'm sure I can make you better. I just need my medical bag. Captain, I must have dropped it. It's out there. With the duck-faced river monsters. Peso, you stay in the gap and look after Shellington as best you can. Quasi, you and I are going out there to find Peso's medical bag. Oh, 
I almost forgot. We'll find out who this egg belongs to and return it just as soon as we take care of Shellington. Good luck out there. Sorry. Oh. Oh. No sign of the creatures yet. No sign of Peso's medical bag either. It could be anywhere in this murky muck. Oh. Looks like we've got company. Quasi. You keep them distracted while I search the riverbed. Ready? Ready, Captain. Then let's do this. Hey, you duck-faced furball! Over here! I'm not scared of you, whatever you are! Ah, sure. It's around here, but somewhere. I did it, Captain! Whoa! Whoa! I led those monsters on a wild goose chase! They'll never find us now! Hmm. This time, Quasi, you look for the bag, and I'll lead the creatures away. Aye, aye, Captain. Hey! Up here! That's it! <laughs> here I am! What's taking the Captain and Quasi so long? Don't worry, Shellington. They'll be back soon. I hope. Ah! Lappity flippers! The egg's hatching! Whoa! Shiver! Whiskers! Peso's back! Look out, Quasi! Quasi, this way! What's our mission today, Captain? I'm ready for any... Shiver me whiskers! What's that big green thing? Some sort of humongous blob monster heading towards us? I'm tracking a large mass of plankton to see how wind and waves affect its path. A mass of what? Plankton! That large patch of plankton is actually made up of teeny tiny little things. Uh, oh yeah. You see, there are little animals and little green plants in the plankton. But what's our mission, Captain? Well, the plankton is our mission for the next few weeks. You mean we're just going to sit here and watch little bits of green gunk? We can learn big things from little things, Quasi. Aye, like how to go stir-crazy with your tail stuck in one place. Um, Quasi, I think Tweak could use some help with the Gup X. The Gup X? Well, now you're talking! I don't know, Quasi. Seems to me you're better at wrecking Gups and helping fix him. Oh, come on, matey. What have you got to lose? A Gup. Please? <sighs> All right, follow me. What do you need me to do? Drive the tank up the side of an undersea volcano? See how fast the glider can fly upside down? Nope. You want me to just sit on the octo-ski? You can try to get it going after I clean all the plankton out of the engine. Don't worry, I'll get her started. Wait, Quasi! First I gotta... Quasi to tweak. Come in. A high octopod. Anybody? Ah, <sighs> no problem. Me pirate senses tell me the octopod's just a little bit back that way. Okay, a lot of it back. Left, right, skate. Left, right, skate. Oh, Left, be a right, sea skate. monkey's uncle. Left, right, it's a skate. bug walking Left, on water. Right, skate. Not just any bug, my friend. I'm a sea skater. Call me Strider, the only insect who can live on the ocean all the time. Amazing! But true, I've got these little waterproof hairs on my legs that let me walk on the waves, yeah? That's a fancy trick for someone so little. Hey, I may be little, but I do big things. Ah, quit showing off. You're not the only one who can walk on water. Oh yeah, this is my wife, Sally. Hiya. Sally's a she-skater. All the she-skaters are bigger than the he-skaters. Hey, but, but, but I'm faster. If you're so fast, how come you haven't found any food? No. We've been looking for days, but there isn't any, and the babies are hungry. 
What do you sea skaters eat? Ah, we like to eat this floaty green stuff. Hey, that sounds like the plankton my friends the octonauts are looking at. It's a big green all-you-can-eat floating feast. And it's right over that way. I don't know. I usually find the food. What do we got to lose? Ready, kids? Yeah, yes. we're ready. <laughs> Come, on. Come on. Well, I hope you know what you're doing. OK, here we go. Left, right, skate. Left, right, skate. And hurry. Don't like the look of this wind. Any sign of Quasi? Not yet. I can't get him on the radio or the gup finder. Don't worry, Tweak. We'll find him. This isn't the first time Quasi's been lost at sea. Captain, the wind is picking up and causing some really big waves. Cap, we gotta go out and find him before... It's getting rough out there. That big patch of plankton just hit us. The radar's out. And I can't open the octo hatch. Nothing's working right. Dashi, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, Quasi is lost at sea. Every door on the octopod is jammed with plankton. Oh no, Quasi's out there while we're stuck in here. <sighs> hmm. Any luck opening the octo hatch, Tweet? Uh, no, we gotta unjam the octo hatch before one of those waves hits Quasi. We'll find a way. We've got to make it to the octopod before these waves get any bigger. Hey. You're talking to a speed skater, man! <laughs> Can't you swim any faster? Come on, I'll race you! Left, right, skate! Left, right, skate! Left, right, skate! Left, right, skate! <laughs> That's not fair! <laughs> <sighs> what a long day. I can't wait to get back to the octopod to get some rest. Don't worry, Peso. We'll be home in no time. It just so happens that I know a super secret shortcut through a mangrove forest. Turn left up here, Captain. Something's not right here. The mangrove forest is completely flooded. He's right, Captain. Here's what the mangrove forest used to look like. And now it's almost all underwater. We'd better take a look around and see if any creatures need our help. Uh -uh. We'll swim the rest of the way, Peso. <sighs> Looks like it's deserted. Aye. <gasps> we should all stay alert. Let's spread out and check for creatures. Aye, Captain. <laughs> No creatures here, Captain. All clear over here, too. No creatures here either. Octonauts, let's move out. Ow! Oh! Huh. What? What's going on? Hello. What are you doing in here? Flappity flippers! Quasi, Peso, open your helmets, quick! No! Now. Don't worry, we just need to open our helmets so we can get you back in the water. Forget about it! This water's too deep for us and we can't swim too good! But you fish! What kind of fish doesn't want to be in the water? Ain't it obvious? We're mud skippers! Mud skippers? That's right! We can breathe air! <gasps> So we spend most of our time on land. That's what we need. That's where we live. And that's where we eat. There used to be plenty of mud around here, but now it's all underwater. Oh, so that's why you hitched a ride in our helmets. With everything flooded, we can't stay here. There's hardly any mud left. Yeah, if we don't find a new place, we're done for. <laughs> well, why didn't you say so? We'll help you find a new home, mateys. <laughs> You do that for us? Watch the catch. There's no catch at all. With the Octonauts, helping sea creatures is what we do. Uh, okay. Okay. But it's not like we need help or nothing. Of course not. But you'd be doing us a favor if you let us help you. 
Well, since you put it that way, sure, why not? Octonauts to the launch bay. <laughs> Find a new home for our friends, the mud skippers. Mud skippers, eh? Fascinating. I've never seen one up close. They'll need a place with lots of mud. There's another mangrove forest nearby, Captain. This one's not flooded. There should be plenty of mud there. If we leave now, then we should be able to get there by tomorrow morning. Hey, don't go out of your way on our account or nothing. Oh, um, we happen to be heading that way anyway. What a co-winky dink! I ask you, what are the odds? Tunip, let's prepare a nice muddy space for our guests in the garden pod. Dashy, set a course for the mangrove forest. Already on it, Captain. Think you'll be all right in here, mudskippers. Ah, the mud's a little lumpy, but uh, I guess it ain't terrible. Yeah, not bad. I've skipped in worse. Good. Well, uh, we'll see you in the morning then. Good night. What in the world? Captain, what's that horrible noise? I'm not sure, Peso. It sounds like it's coming from the garden pod. <laughs> what's going on? Just solving a situation here. My mud wrestling? It was in my mud. Your mud? Forget about it. It's my mud now. I'm not listening. Talk to the fish. Ooh. Easy, mud skippers. We just want to. Oh, 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 slippers. Oh, <laughs> They're heading for the HQ. Yes, mud in your eyes. Hey, whoever jumps the highest gets all the mud to himself. <laughs> You're on. Check this out. <laughs> 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 You call that a jump? This is a jump! Hey! Jump jellyfish! What's going on? Oh! Duh. These mud skippers are having a rumble over the mud and they sure fight dirty! Of course! I should have known! Mud skippers like to have their own space and they often fight over it! Uh oh! Then there's only one way to settle this. We'll have to separate them until we reach the mangrove forest in the morning. Ha! Peso, Quasi, catch! Quasi, scoop up some mud and head for the game pod. Peso, you take some mud to the launch bay, and I'll head back to the garden pod. Hey, that's my mud! Come back! Sorry about this! Nicely, Nora. Now let's see if you can use it to stick to something. I hope it's working. I have to be able to stick to bigger fish. That's how I hitch rides all over the ocean. Hmm. Now what can we practice on? Oh, I know. Oh, <laughs> you've definitely got the sticking part sorted. Now let's practice the unsticking part. I, I'm trying, but oh, I can't. Don't worry, I'll help. Nora? 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 Oh. Captain, Nora has vanished. And I'm afraid there's no sign of her on the fish tracker. We need to find her, Captain. She could be stuck to something dangerous and not be able to get unstuck. Don't worry, Pacer. We'll find her. Dashy, sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, we need to find this missing fish. She's a remora who goes by the name of Nora. Nora the Remora, eh? She was last seen by Peso near this trench. And then she disappeared without a trace. 
So, we've got a little fish who's disappeared in a big ocean. What other clues do we have, matey? No other clues, but the sucker on her fin is hurt. The longer she's out there, the more danger she's in. Yep, what about? Agreed. I've never seen that before. We've never had to use it before. You think he'll get the signal, Cap? He'll get the signal. Who'll get what signal? I don't hear anything. Hold on, Quasi. I expect he'll be here in five, four, three, two, one. Harry the Harbour Seal, at your service. Oh. Oh. Octonauts, meet my old friend and ace detective, Harry. Thanks for coming, Harry. After all the times you've saved my sealskin barnacles, I owe you one, <laughs> or two. Peso, why don't you tell Harry about our case? Oh, right. Well, let's see. Wait, let me guess. What we've got here is a case of a missing fish. A patient of yours, perhaps. How? Did I know that? <laughs> Swimming towards the octopod, I found this thread. Special type, only used to make bandages. So I figure you must be a medic. I am. Yes, I can tell your heart's beating fast, so I guess you're worried, which means this patient of yours is in trouble. What kind of trouble? Well, you contacted me. So obviously, they're lost or missing. <laughs> well, you're good. I always find my fish. The fish we're looking for is a remora. Named Nora. But I'm afraid we don't have any good clues for you. Oh, Harry can find clues that the rest of us can't. It's all in our whiskers. That's because harbour seals' whiskers are so sensitive, they can detect the slightest ripple in the water made by any fish. And track it for a hundred miles. Wow! Now then, how about you take me to the last place you saw Nora the Remora? This is the spot. My whiskers are picking up a uh, big fish, fast moving, passed right by here. And now I detect a little ripple from a little fish. That's probably Nora. The big fish and the little fish moved on together from here. Can you tell which way they went, Harry? According to my whiskers, they went this way. Follow me, chaps. Yeah. There's definitely a big fish and a little fish in there. Let's take a look. It's a big fish and little fish, all right. But it's not Nora. It's a cleaning wrasse and a shark. Hey, big guy, you want cleaning? You must wait until I'm finished as shark. Yeah, take a swim, Harbour Seal. <gasps> Come on, Harry. Oh, this won't take long. Uh, yes, excuse me, we're looking for a missing fish and we'd like to ask you a couple of questions. I don't like questions. Hey, please, the shark, he needs to relax. Yes, yes, but I'm just wondering if you've seen... Oh! Hey, 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 hey! Come back, shark, I need to clean your teeth. We'd better stop that shark before it takes a bite out of Harry. Easy now! Don't chomp my friend! I'll take it from here. Now, don't move till I'm finished cleaning your teeth! You must relax! <laughs> <sighs> Everyone all right? Ha! <laughs> Thanks for saving my sealskin barnacles! But it's a good thing that shark chase is over here, or I might have missed this. My whiskers are detecting more ripples. I'd say these ripples were made by a big fish and a little fish. Excellent, my dear Peso. And the trail leads us to... A little hole in the sand. Exactly. This little hole was made by a big fish with a pointy nose. Now I'm starting to get that picture. The big fish with a pointy nose takes a dive down towards the sea floor, but he's not alone. Somewhere along the way, he picks up a little fish. Now we've got a little fish stuck to a big fish with his nose stuck in the sand. The big fish breaks free, but the little fish is still stuck to him. And they both went that away. <laughs>